Alzenary here from Drake Wing Game, and assuming you may on Twitter the Gaming Dragon today, I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus Bjorn's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, right there we go. Okay. Let's see, files. Maybe. Maybe. That's August 22nd. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Alright. Then he takes off his shoes and after a moment of hesitation ditches the socks too, throwing them into a plastic bag at the wall. I don't think he needs shoes as a bear. Not indoors at least. Butter! Hmm. I'll go take a leak when we can go back. Be right back. The door closes behind Bjorn and I deflate. Here, back in his room, my thoughts circle back to last night. Maybe that's why Bjorn is so tense. Is he remembering it too? None of us mentioned it yet, content for now with letting it hang between us, but here, the Bjorn sent permeating the room, I can't not think about it. Great, I also have a boner to hide. I kind of hoped he'd say something about it in town. Feeling physically close to him was super nice, and I'd love more of it. More than just sneakily leaning on his arm in the bus. I sit, down on, I sit down on his bed, the same bed we slept in last night, next to his hoodie. I haven't felt any awkwardness between us during the day, so I have no reason to believe there's nothing wrong, there's anything wrong between us. But I wouldn't want to just forget about it and act like it didn't happen when I enjoyed it so much. And I'm back. Mm-hmm. Hey, I was wondering, about yesterday? I scratched my head awkwardly, not really sure how to approach this. It really did happen, right? Yeah. And you're not mad at me or unhappy or anything. If I did something you weren't you weren't comfortable with, no, don't worry. I didn't expect it, but I enjoyed it. I exhale with relief, slumping on the bed. Huh, <sighs> that was one awkward moment. But it looks like it was was even more awkward for Bjorn, who's standing with eyes glued to the floor, paws gripping the sides of his trousers. How about we go back to my room? The transfer should end soon. Yeah, uh, can't wait. One ticket to bank town. Yeah, I have the photos on my hard drive now. Wanna take a look? I like to go through my photos too, but Bjorn seems so excited that I have no heart to make him wait. Of course! I get off the chair and let Bjorn sit in front of the laptop. If he had a canine tail instead of his cute short one peeking from his trousers, I imagine it would be wagging with excitement. Your photos start here. I grab the mouse and click on the front and the first of Bjorn's photos, a lamp post from the street we started on. It's a tad blurry, and the shutter speed must have been a bit too slow. The exposure is way off, too, and the sky just a sea of white, an empty space as if the town was swimming in nothingness. A sea of white. A memory flashes through my mind, suddenly. Synapse is triggered by the sight. I go up the stairs to the bathroom in my house. How old am I? Fourteen? No. More. I close the door behind myself. I don't, I don't turn on the light. I don't want to. There's a faint glow seeping from under the door, and it's enough for me. I'm deep in my thoughts, inside my own world. I don't want light to. Di I don't want to. Li I don't want light to dispel the magic. I look outside the small bathroom window, facing north, but I see nothing. There are no stars, no shining moon, no trees. The window was too high in the angle, too big for me to see any. There's just a void, pure nothingness. I'm floating in space, and there is no outside world. As long as I don't come closer and look at the forest below. I can pretend nothing else beyond this house and me inside it exists. I watch Bjorn's face reflected in the screen. There's a slight but sweet smile on his face, pure and true. A strange happiness fills me, akin to a warm syrup. A gentle glow slowing down the time, turning the moment into a frame. As long as I don't look away out the window, I can pretend there's no outside world. Just the two of us, here, in this room. Before I know my paws on Bjorn's head, petting him gently. He freezes in surprise but doesn't protest. And blushing, he goes back to the photos, the next three ones showing just the sky. You like a nail? His fur is soft and silky, my padded fingers brushing it with ease. The next photo is of me. I'm smiling with my paw half raised, captured mid movement. And Gudrun is standing a bit further to the side, looking away, both her paws and her out in her pockets. Did he take a photo of me to make me happy? Or maybe he wasn't thinking about it at all and was just capturing anything around. Could he have wanted to remember this moment, the three of us together in this snowy town? I remember it perfectly even without a photo, but it's nice to have one, or even better, print one and have a physical proof of the past, objective and unchanging. 
Bjorn, Bjorn stops scrolling. He's purring quietly. Can bears even purr? It's more of a rumble, actually. Whatever the sound he's making is called, it's cute, but also deep and resonant, hinting at the strength and immensity of his body. He melts into my gentle strokes, paws gripping his trousers again. What's the meaning of what I'm doing right now? I'm sure Bjorn is thinking of that, but I don't know myself. I act, I act instinctively, doing what feels right. I don't dare to move my paw anywhere else. I don't have to. This is all I want and need for now. Are, are you happy with the photos? Yeah, it was super cool to take them, and it's nice to see them now. It's a much different form of expression than writing. It feels unfamiliar, but exciting. These aren't very good, are they? They don't have to be. What's important is that you like them, but honestly, I like them a lot too. Your enthusiasm and curiosity really comes through in them. That one long exposure, exposure at the corner of the street, it looks great. A bit blurry, image stabilization isn't that great in my camera, but it's a very solid idea. I can feel a tiny, a tiny pang of envy when I look at them. I don't have that many ideas when I go out to take photos, not lately. To be honest, I'd love to take photos of this unique myself. I don't think there's much going on in mine. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that can't be true. Talking about it with Gudrun, I opened my eyes. Maybe I should sit down and think of what I truly want to do, what interests me. Instead of going to, instead of going to Glimmer and seeing what others do, do and trying to replicate that somehow. What's the, what's the good in trying to take crowd-pleasing photos if I look at them and, and they don't feel like they're even mine? I don't want to make this about myself. I'm happy that Bjorn enjoyed the whole experience, and he seems really happy about it, too. There's no need to drag my own efforts in photography into this. I pat Bjorn's head once again. He did a great job. Thanks! He chuckles, leaning into my pats. Could you send them to me somehow? Sure, I'll upload them to the cloud and give you a link. I can do that now, actually. I only need my laptop. Oh, sure! I sit down, open my cloud, and make a new folder for the photos, and start the upload. It's not going very fast, though. Now, the internet here is kind of shitty. I'll give you the link in like an hour or so once they transfer. The sky is pretty clear today. No no wonder there's a bad connection to the cloud. There was a bad connection to the cloud. Hmm, I left a notebook in my room. I'll go for it and be back soon. Huh, and he storms out of the room, not even closing the door behind himself. It could be so important they had to run, run for it like that. Anyway, there's still a lot of time until supper, and I have my own photos to go through, and maybe develop if I have the energy and patience. I could start with it, at least. Before I open up the program, Bjorn is back. Oh, that was fast. I only had to grab my notebooks. Can I sit on the bed? Go ahead, I don't mind. Thank you. I open the program now, starting po importing the photos, all the ones I transferred. Generating miniatures, right, I forget how slow this laptop is. This will take a moment, too. And, uh, Carbon? Can I... Take off my trousers? They're not the most comfortable to lay on the bed in. Well, I don't mind. Go ahead. I'll handle a bit of indecency. I certainly did yesterday. Perhaps that's why he's so meek about it. Thanks. I pre appreciate it. Oh. What are you writing? I'm revising notes from the lectures before I forget everything. Oh, that's great. It's good to see him apply himself to studying. Good. If you'd like to help with anything, then I, if you'd like help with anything, then I'm here. Though, with you being in your third year and me just starting, I don't think I can help you much. I appreciate it, though. Wait, I got a notification. Bjorn takes his phone out of his pocket, glancing at the screen. Something important? I have notifications only for emails and calls, so usually... It's from my professor. With results of last week's test. What subject? A neuropathology and animal models of neurodegenerative diseases. A, a subject I'm repeating. How? How'd it go? I'm about to see, and but I don't keep my hopes high. The whole subject is a nightmare. You should see the amount of material we've had for it. Second yell, water time. We've had to read three whole books during the semester, and that's on top of the lectures we've had. I'd give so much for a passing grade. I really need it. I'd even blow the professor if he wasn't married. Since when did this ever stop anyone? His husband works at the university library. I could never go there again. Maybe they're in an open relationship. You never know before you ask. Carvin, I was joking. I don't think it. I don't think it'd help. I hope to hope to cheer him up, but this seems serious. With a deep sigh, he hesitantly taps at the screen. And Bjorn deflates, his shoulders slouching with a continued sigh. I failed. Oh, but it wasn't like an important exam, at least. It was. The silence that falls that falls feels heavy, like a curtain falling between him and me. I can't share his disappointment. I don't know the implication of the situation. But it feels like watching a building collapse from a safe distance. What now? Just give me a moment, okay? Please. I know, I chill. It's the best I can do given the situation. 
Dora, meanwhile, falls down onto the bed with a loud thud, dropping his phone to the floor. I hope there's something to be done. Maybe he can retake it or repeat the subject again, but I can only speculate before he, feel, before he feels okay enough to talk. I can make sure he studies for the next term, repeat the material with him or something. I've learned something myself, too. It'd be good for both of us. Maybe it's not so bad. I only have to convince him of it once I have the chance. Carvin? Can you turn off the light? Uh, sure. I get up and walk up to the light switch, wondering what the bear is up to. It's dark, almost oppressively. Darkness floods the room like air filling vacuum. Jarpidiol! Some of the dark water rushes from the ceiling and submerges you in seconds. Carvin, I'm a fucking failure! It's cold, almost numbing. So cold you can never get used to it. I had two years to learn this and I can't even pass one exam, and it's not even one of the finals! Maybe you do better with finals. I'm not allowed to take the finals if I don't pass this one. I sit down on the edge of the bed next to Bjorn. He looks like he's on the verge of crying. Bjorn, look at me. You're not a failure. I know you'll find a way to pass. I can tell how important it is to you, and with determination, everything is possible. I'll try to help you however I can. You can do this. Really. Can you retake the exam? Yeah, but Carvin, I got 23% of the points this time. It's not even half of what's needed to pass. Now I see how bad the situation is. We can try working on the material together. Maybe a study mate is something you need. I tried really hard. I, I just can't pass. Putting more time into it won't help. I it won't help. What do you want me to do then? What do you want to do then? I don't know. It feels like a dead end. I don't want to think of this right now. I'll only get a headache. Once he'll feel better, I'll convince him. And I'll make him pass that exam in finals too. I'm sure of that. I'm tired. Carvin? It's so alluring to just let go and succumb to it. Fall down to the bottom and stay there and never get up again. But if you try and let the unquiet water close up a close above you, you soon find out there's no peace in that. C can I have a hug? Sure! I prop myself up on my arms, ready to get up, but instead of getting up, too, Bjorn rolls over and on, rover, uh, rolls over and on top of me, his burly arms wrapping around me tightly. Oh my. That I, oh my goodness, I don't think I can show... No, nope. that's a big bear. He's heavy. There you go. Water time. The whole bulk of his burly body bearing down on me. It's almost too much and I have no room to protest, all the air leaving my lungs instantly. I hug him back, wrapping arms around his huge torso, trying to provide, a, trying to provide him the comfort he needs. He rumbles again, but this time I feel his chest vibrating a deep baritone. There, there. I don't know what to do, rarely getting into situations like this one. I run my paws down along his sides, fingers sinking into fur below where his t-shirt rolled up, then return to his broad back, trying to make it as soothing as I can. He responds with more rumbles, pressing his head to my shoulder. We'll deal with this together. Don't you worry. I whisper more than say. My lungs crushed under the bear's weight, but he seems to understand, nodding slowly. It must be a hilarious sight. A hulking bear clinging to a much smaller tiger, but I'm barely visible under him. This feels kind of nice. I like to catch a breath, maybe, but there's something deeply pleasing and soothing in feeling the bear's weight on me. I almost don't want it to end, finally relaxing, pressing into the mattress, embracing my friend. How are you feeling? B better You're right, I need to get myself together. Great to hear. I'll send my parents a message, maybe they'll have some advice. Good idea. Now, can you get off me now? I kind of can't breathe. Oh, sorry. You're heavy, you know. Yeah, I know. I ruffle his head gently, and finally he smiles. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon if you can, if you can, if it always... Blah, check out our Patreon if you can, if it helps. If you can, it all it helps. Sorry, I'm really tired. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!